the biggest breakthroughs and personal lessons. I went through my blogs from the year. You can see them all here. And I picked out the things that stuck out to me most. Yeah, I've learned and grown and gone through a lot this year and processed a lot. So it's nice just to be able to pick these things out. Now, I'm gonna put this blog into a post in my website in Squarespace and try to edit it super quickly and schedule it. Normally, I try to get my blogs done and scheduled faster, but since it's the end of the year and I don't need to rush to work today, I'm going to spend a little bit longer at the office because a lot of people are already on vacation now the roads are already clear and then after work we're going to go pick up some special stuff I can't wait to tell you all about it but I'll tell you after So this is my friend Joel. Hello. <laughs> who's graciously allowing me to borrow some of his filming equipment. And he's been to this exact place in Jamaica. Do you have any advice for me? Go to Reach Falls. Cut to footage of Reach Falls that she's about to take. <laughs> Most beautiful place you've ever been. Swing off the vines. Cut to swinging off the vines that she's about to take. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. Just like that. So I'm back home now, and there you guys heard the big news, which is that I am going to Jamaica over the Christmas holidays. This wasn't something that I had planned necessarily. It just kind of came up um, that someone in my family was able to offer me discounted tickets and they had to be used by the end of the year and I had been feeling that I would love a change of pace because as someone who's traveled a lot to be in the same environment all the time um, is really flexing my wonder muscles, my ability to stay inspired and to see the world in wonder. And then it just kind of came together that I've been in touch with this retreat center in Jamaica for over a year and um, they had asked me about a year ago if I wanted to come and help them make videos and at the time I wasn't I was just in not the right headspace for it but I realized that like oh this might be my opportunity I've worked in a lot of retreat centers as some of you guys know and I love it and the heart of a retreat center is just something so deep in my soul so I was like, okay, this will be a great opportunity to check out another retreat center and to learn and simmer and to create something beautiful for them and for these channels. And so I'm pretty much going to be spending the rest of this week getting everything together, packing, kind of getting in the right headspace and creative space for that. Um, I was expecting my Christmas to be a lot more um, restful, but actually it's probably going to be even more restful now because when I'm in a different environment I just am able to like turn off my work brain more. And this summer when I went to LA I had this huge realization that it is very creatively refueling for me to go to different places and just have to film. Because here in my daily life when I'm in the city of Toronto um, as you can see from today, my time working on different things gets chopped up. I do some stuff in the in the morning and then I'll go to work and sometimes work on schoolwork and then and then by the end of the day, my mind is just like is done. So in the summer when I was in LA with my friend and I got to just focus more on filming and dreaming, I realized that like wow, when I am when I get a chance to be still, I love picking up my camera and filming and just getting to see the world anew and then being in a new environment is just so 
like creatively stimulating to me. I also want to share something that I discovered in the creating of my last vlog, the winter walk in the forest. So after I filmed that Sunday and I went on that walk and then I started to edit it and then in those days before I finished the edit and I was just about to publish, I started, like I felt this deep filling in my soul of feeling so creatively fulfilled but it feels like there's this like deeper emptiness in me that is being filled up because I'm actually creating again and and in the flow of making videos and um someone commented on my last vlog you know asking if I was going to film again this Sunday and right now it's Monday so I didn't film yesterday but when I saw that comment of like, oh, are you going to film this Sunday? My soul was just like, yes! It was like, I wanted to film. And previously, like even a couple of months ago, I still wanted to film, but I didn't feel like I had the energy. But something has just clicked this month. Maybe it's, it's, it's probably everything that I've been doing this year to try to get back in the creative flow is, is finally aligning to the point where I can actually make a vlog and then I'm going to make another one this week and then next week I'm going to be in Jamaica filming 10 times more. I just want to share this because if you have ever dreamt of creating and there's a part of you that um, just feels stuck, I just want to encourage you with this little story of like, it is actually possible to feel full, like full in my gut, in my body from creating. Thursday before I leave and my room is a giant mess. I've started packing and I feel like there are a hundred, probably like 200 things I have to do and get together before I go. So for the last few days my brain has feel, felt like it's going to explode and then it just wants to stop but ah, I am done my final work day at the office. I have a few things to pick up before Jamaica and then I'm gonna go home, put everything in my luggage properly and pray to God that I get on the first flight that I can to Jamaica tomorrow. Because I was flying standby, I wasn't guaranteed a seat on the plane and it really stressed me out. But thankfully, I got a seat and I arrived in Jamaica. From the airport, I caught a five-hour bus to Port Antonio on the north coast. This was my first time taking a long bus ride in several years and I really enjoyed it. It gave me so much time to think, simmer and feel. Because I arrived at the retreat center at night, I didn't see it until the morning, and this was my first look at the center at daybreak. For the first two days, it rained off and on, but I didn't mind. It gave me a chance to decompress, and the rain is so lovely. And I was even given a rainbow. For the next nine days, I will be here, 
reconnecting with my traveler soul, my creativity, and mother nature.